You want to join me here? Won't you be seated, please, ladies and gentlemen? The war on drugs. The war on drugs. The war on drugs. This country started a war. The enemy, illegal drugs. West led war on drugs. America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. Nixon, as well as many other well-known influencers, were strongly determined to inform the United States people that drugs were the biggest and most deadly problem for the United States population. The topic became heavily discussed and information spread quickly. Drugs and death caused by drugs were the main topic of discussion throughout America. Although Nixon stated several reasonings for the start of the war on drugs, such as protecting the children and decreased deaths by drugs, were his intentions honest? Forbes reports on a remark by a former Nixon aide hinting that the war on drugs had a hidden purpose, that President Nixon saw the drug crackdown as a way to arrest blacks and anti-war protesters. Is it has almost nothing to do with the relative risks of these drugs and almost everything to do with who used and who was perceived to use these drugs, right? By getting the public to associate the hippies with marijuana and blacks with heroin, and then criminalizing both heavily, we could disrupt those communities. The war on drugs resulted in a dramatic increase in unfair prison sentencing for African Americans specifically. Heavily populated black areas were and are currently more likely to have high amounts of law enforcement within the area. That being said, black people are more likely to be stopped, searched, arrested, and given unfair prison sentences and treatment within the prison. The rate of incarceration is so high, so socially concentrated, that we're no longer incarcerating the individual, but we're incarcerating whole social groups. Judges' hands were tied by tough on crime laws and they were forced to hand out mandatory life sentences for simple possession and low-level drug sales. Uh, Johnson was sentenced to life in prison for drug trafficking back in 1996. I basically was a college student, got involved in an abusive relationship with a drug dealer, and as a first-time nonviolent drug offender, I got sentenced to 24 and a half years in federal prison. We've got people convicted of murder one, murder one, who do not serve 24 years in prison. The public outcry still soaring tonight over a six-month sentence slapped on former Stanford University freshman Brock Turner for sexually assaulting a 22-year-old woman while she lay unconscious next to a dumpster.